Bear. Nice to see you again. I've had so many adventures in space lately that I needed a holiday. I like to relax on the beautiful beaches you have here on planet Earth. The sun makes it lovely and warm. I could easily spend all day here. But oh look, now the sun has gone. When the sun sets, it's night time. Look at all the stars in the sky. We can see thousands from here. Did you know that the sun is also a star? It is your star. The sun rises every morning, making it daytime. All the stars we see at night are still there, but because the sun is the closest star to Earth, it is so bright we can't see the fainter stars that are farther away. The sun gives us light and warmth, perfect for my holiday. From down here, it looks like the sun and stars move around Earth, but is that what's really happening? Let's find out. To action! From space, we can see that the Earth is spinning. It's daytime for the side that is facing the sun. On the other side, it's nighttime. The Earth spins on its axis, an imaginary tilted line that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole. From the ground, it looks like the sun and stars are moving. But in fact, it is the Earth that is spinning. Although you can't really feel it moving, it's an optical illusion. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to make a full spin, a whole day and night. As well as spinning on its axis, the Earth orbits the Sun. It takes the Earth 365 days and a quarter to make a complete orbit around the Sun. So. Every four years, you add these quarter days together and have a leap year, which has 366 days. During this time, we experience different seasons on Earth. Why is that? When sunlight reaches our planet, it's more concentrated in some places than in others. In those places, it's warmer. But because the Earth's axis is tilted, it's not always warm in the same place on Earth. For example, in Europe, when the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, it's summer there. The sun appears to be very high in the sky. Days are longer and warmer. Hooray! When the Northern Hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, it's winter there. The sun appears to be lower in the sky, so we get less light and less warmth so good for beach holidays, but good for stargazing. Winter and summer are the other way around if you're in the southern hemisphere. Maybe I should take my winter breaks in Australia. We've seen that the sun is a star, that the earth rotates on its axis, and this gives us day and night and that the seasons change as the Earth orbits the Sun.